Hi everyone, in this video we are going to look at sharing what we've made okay, with our client. How do we do that? Now we are pretending at the moment that this is like work in progress. It is a work in progress, but that's what we're doing right now. We want to share it with the client. It's not the big finish finale, you know, um, announcing it to the world. This is like, hey, Jeff or Jenny, and uh, this is where I'm up to, what do you think? Or maybe it's going into some testing for people so they can kind of work through it, find any sort of errors or anything missing. How do we do it? Super easy. Okay, uh, with your website open, okay, go to publish, and that should already be ticked, and just click uh, publish selected domains. Let's do it quickly, and then I'll backtrack and show you some other things. So it is live on the internet now. It's very exciting. Uh, to get to it, click on this little arrow here, or you can copy and paste that, or, okay, so there we go, it should open up. And that, my friends, is your website on the interwebs. Okay, it is fully workable, okay, there we go. And you can copy and paste that, send it to your client and say, hey, have a look. It's very exciting if you're new to web design to get your stuff out there and actually online rather than just kind of trapped inside Webflow or Photoshop or Figma or XD, wherever your kind of first designs are. It's a big kind of milestone. Hooray. So let's have a little look back here. Um, so this here is the domain that you're going to be using. Think of it as a staging domain. So a word uh, kind of used in web design for like a draft part of the website. It's fully workable, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just on what's called a subdomain. Um, so the main domain here is webflow.io. This other stuff, uh, adair kayak club.webflow.io is the subdomain for the main domain. Anyway, um, some people call it staging domain and it's just a good, we are a work kind of in progress way. Eventually you'll add your own custom domain, which we'll do together and it'll be on a proper website. It can live on this one. It's just not a pretty URL. It's a little unprofessional, but if you've got a very unprofessional website, knock your socks off. Use that subdomain. Now, if you want them to check it and then turn it off again, if you unpublish it, it'll take it off the internet. The only trouble is, is that if I go to here and refresh my page, you get a big old 404 error. Okay, the error means the website cannot be found. Okay, so if I turn it back on though, it'll be found again. So it's kind of like, a, yeah, turn it on and off. And um, one thing you might be asking here is uh, there's a few things you might want to turn on. Okay, so I'm going to go to my project settings. Who remembers where that was? Okay, we did at the beginning, there was four places. We looked at three of them, the designer, there was the editor, which we'll do later on, and then project settings and dashboard. Where were they all hidden? Uh, you remember, there you go. Okay, project settings. Okay, so project settings for a dear kayak club. Now, I'm gonna show you some things that you probably can't do yet. If you're on the you know free plan or you haven't done anything yet, okay, um, if you do, yeah, I'm gonna show you them because you wanna have a look, but they are required a paid uh, version of Webflow. So in general, uh, this one here, website password, people like to turn on when they are kind of like, you know, it's just new and I don't worry about it. I used to because nobody's gonna guess you know, this kind of like a dear kayak club or webflow.io. There's no way of finding it. Well, it's hard to find. Okay, but you could turn that on, but you need to upgrade your hosting. I'll walk you through that later on as well if you haven't already. Remember, if you do want to upgrade to hosting, you can use my link here on the screen. Uh, yeah. Other thing you might want to do is, um, if it's going to be up there for a long time, is under the SEO tab, there's one in here called indexing. If you turn this on, it just means that Google's not gonna go and index it. And what they mean by indexing is just adding it to the search results. Because this is just a work in progress, it's not quite finished, it's the wrong subdomain, there might be placeholder text like in ours. So we're just saying this, saying, Google, don't go and search my site and add it to your uh, vast search results. Thank you very much. But again, if you had saved changes, it's gonna say, hey, you need to upgrade your hosting. <laughs> okay, so at the moment, um, that's not what we wanna do. Okay, so I'm gonna go from back to SEO. So you might wanna turn those things on or you might just have those questions in your head. Yes, you can do them. Yes, you need a paid hosting plan. But for the moment, don't worry about it. Like, I don't worry about it <laughs> is what I'm trying to convey. You might be like, it needs a password. Uh, you can totally go do that. But just sharing that link there is fine. Obviously when it's on, you can actually, oh, another tip, you can publish from the settings. Not that you, you know, I never do it from here, but you can, you can bin the site from here, you can unpublish it from within the, you know, the website's uh, project settings. But I find it's just easy to work like this. And if you do want to turn it on and off, uh, just let the client know that you've, you know, there's a day of testing and you're gonna disable the URL. All right, that is it for this one. Let's move on to the next video. I'll see you there. 
That, my friend, is the end of the video. Uh, but not the end of the course, uh, the video you just watched. Um, it is a small part of my larger course called Webflow Essentials. So if you enjoyed the video, my teaching style, there'll be a card up here you can click or a link in the description, okay? And come join me for the full course. Uh, like the video as well if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more stuff, but hopefully see you in the course. Bye.